Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. I'm wearing my green today. It's kind of a, I don't know, like a... There's a green. I, I just don't know what color green. It's not a bright green like a lot of people wear, but it's a green. Uh, my other video was uh, abruptly ended because the uh, battery on my camera here had uh, died. There's a TV show on the Sci-Fi Channel called um, The Internet Ruined My Life. Basically, is isn't the internet itself. It's the people on the internet. People making their comments. They think if they make a comment and then take it right off, it's not, it's not going to be on the internet for anybody else to see. But the person who saw it. And then when you make a comment back to them, then and you don't take it off, and everybody can see that comment, and it makes you look like you're the one that made a threat. But let me tell you something. Not everything goes off. Not even the comment that you had made will go completely off the Internet. It stays on somewhere. There's a record of it somewhere. That's the problem. You, you know... Uh, this one person that lives in Michigan, formerly of West Lafayette, Ohio. She thinks she knows everything. And then on top of that, her husband is an IT, IT guy that works for a company. He should be smart enough to know the truth about the things, but yet he's so dumb when it comes right down to it. doesn't realize that what he says and what uh, his wife says there's a record of it that stays on YouTube where I can get to and see what they said even if they you know take it off for instance here's a video that I did Called uh, Preaching Double Minded Man is Unstable in His Ways, and you need to, well, seek. There's more to it, but uh, it got cut off. I have been having, well, basically, he's became a stalker. He says that uh, he idolizes me. I don't want. I don't want to be somebody's idol. I'm not here to be somebody's idol. I'm not here to be famous. I'm here to preach the word of God. And if you don't like it, don't come to my YouTube channel. I'm telling you right now. And I goes for uh, you two there in Michigan. You know who you are. Of course, uh, everybody else does too. You need to stop. Now, stop. I'm telling you to stop. With your bashing comments. You know, no matter how much you try to hurt me, it's not going to hurt me. It's going to make me stronger. You think you're smart? You don't, you're not smart at all. You're just being a smart something else. It's all your being. But, like I said, then this kid, 19 years old, from Florida, really, not from Columbus, Ohio, he's been lying to me on the telephone. Have been saying a lot of strange things to me on the telephone. Call me 
when I'm busy cooking, or I was in bed, excuse me, Renee had to have a uh, 7 o'clock appointment yesterday morning, the 16th. She had to have an endoscopy done. I had to get up at 5 o'clock to get her up and ready to leave here at 6 o'clock in the morning to get to uh, Canton, Ohio to uh, the gastroenterologist and surgery center. That's the God's honest truth. You know what? And I don't care if you don't believe me or not. Because that's the God's on the truth. And I have paperwork. I have documentation to prove it. But I'm not showing it on here. Because you don't need to see it. All you need to do is just shut up and listen. Or get off my YouTube channel. If you don't like what I have to say. I am tired. I am tired of you running your fingertips. Because you're, that's all you do, you're, you're running your fingertips, you're trying to make me look bad to other people, when it is actually you that is bad. You're bad, you're sinning, because what you are doing is a sin. You're trying to show, you're trying to sow, sow, you know, sowing seeds, or discord among the brethren uh, and the Bible says you're not supposed to be doing that and you're doing that you are sinning you are sinning I'm not sinning because the song I sung is called public it's under public domain there's a lot of songs out there that's under public domain you don't know everything when it comes right down to it but you think you do. And for the woman from Thailand, if she wants to chime in, well, you know, I have to prove your comments. I can see them. I have to prove your comments before everybody else sees them. Cause I have you block. I have basically a lot of people blocked. But I want people to see that this young man is disturbed. He needs help. He lives in Florida somewhere. Every time he calls me, I hear uh, like fire truck sirens or ambulance sirens in the background. He said, oh, they're coming after me because I shot my mother in the head because I want her insurance money. Try to say that one, one of his parents is a doctor and another one's a lawyer. They're both rich and he gets a $5,000 a week allowance. Man, I mean, he was, and then for uh, uh, Melissa Myers Hobolt, Myers is her maiden name, from West Lafayette, Ohio, moved to Michigan, Ohio. To uh, make the comment that she made after I said that I was in bed. I was in bed. I was asleep. He called me around 11.30 at night. I was in bed. Thank you very much. And for the comment you made. And then you took it off. But yet it stays on right here. In the. Uh, the proof of the pudding. Why are you lying to him? If you were in bed, you would be on. You wouldn't be on your computer. Well, I got up after the phone rang. And I came in to, and then typed in that I was in bed. Then I went back to bed. Of course, then he chimed in, which I, I don't see that on here. I, don't, I said, I just think what's over here isn't over here. For someone unreason. 
But w w he said, uh, uh, good point. And then, and then she goes on and says, I'm surprised you could see my comment. He has me blocked so nobody can see them. Anyway, in uh, all seriousness, stay away from this lunatic. He's a complete idiot who doesn't know what he's talking about. <clears throat> and if you're see, uh, seeking Bible advice, this is, this is most certainly not the place to get it. She is bashing me right there on my YouTube to that young man who uh, supposedly idolizes me. Well, I yeah I have them blocked, but they're supposed to come up and 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 where I can approve their comments. But for some reason it doesn't do that. Somehow he saw it also and uh, had commented. And then like I said. But yet also that comment also went on somehow and Renee saw it. So I'm not sure what's going on with uh, YouTube, how some people can see it, other people, and, 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 you know, I can't unless I go right here to this, uh, this other list where the bell is. You're bashing me. You are bashing me. You're the one that needs to seek true, uh, uh, Biblical advice. The church that you're going to, Melissa Hobolt and and uh, Neil Ma Neil <coughs> Neil Hobolt, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> is not preaching you the truth. The preacher there needs to get right with God. Before it's too late. Because if he really knew what kind of people you was. Trying to sow discord among the brethren. He would jump right on you. If he was with any kind of preacher. And not praise you for what you're doing. I'm not praising you. And let me tell you something. God is not happy with you. So mark my words. God is my venger. He will avenge me. Mark my words. As a prophet, I've seen it. You think you're uh, smart? You don't know really what's going to come right down and, and hit you when it comes right down to it. Until it's too late. When you lose everything you have. So, you know, keep on. Keep on bashing me. Gives God, God more, uh, gives God more uh, evidence to come after you. And gives me more evidence to uh, file restraining order against you. Plus, that probably won't help either. Because you probably don't believe in restraining orders. Like I said here, and then Renee, she said, uh, you know, um, she said something, of course, and I took that off. Oh, Lord, have mercy. These people need help big time. You know, and, and for those people out there that are true Christians, that see what really is going on here. See, they want me, they want me to stop. 
they want me to stop preaching because they don't believe one that my ordentation is real because they uh, think that the Universal Life Church is just an internet church. But how many times have I said that the Universal Life Church started in the night in the middle 1950s or uh, early 1950s by the late um, Uh, Kirby Hensley. I'm trying to find uh, his information here. I know I put somewhere. I just don't remember where here. Okay, here it is. The Universal Life Church was founded I'm looking here for the date. Well, I, remember, I know it was uh, in the uh, 1950s here. And then... Uh, but, you know, what gives me is the Internet. I mean, there was computers. The Internet back then was basically... Computer to computer, government computers talking with other government computers, and um, business computers talking to other business computers. There was no home computers like there are today. People didn't have a computer in their home. They didn't have uh, a way to plug in a computer to the phone line until the mid-1990s. Uh, Windows uh, 90, 95 and the Windows 98. And computers, uh, basically that's when the internet took off big time, was 1995 and then from then on. Not in the 1950s when the Universal Life Church started. And not in 1989 when I was ordained by the late Donald Stevens. But, you know, it seems like, it, you know, you don't want to believe the truth. I was ordained in 1989. I did not get my, in, my ordentation off the internet. But, you know, you'd, you'd rather, you know, bash me than believe the truth. That goes to show what kind of Christian you really are, deep down inside. So keep on bashing me. Give me more evidence and give God more evidence so he can uh, avenge me. You know, there's a show, there's been movies out called The Avengers. Well, actually, God is the Avenger. You know, I have seen God's hand move many times in my life, protecting me and avenging me. Where other people have lost their job for what they've done to me. Do you want that? And I hope maybe that doesn't happen. 
what I'm hoping is that uh, someone get a hold of you and straighten you out and tell you to stop. And if you don't stop, then you will lose. In uh, Jeremiah, uh, uh, chapter 1, verse 5, God says, Behold, I formed you in the womb. I knew you before you were born. I set you apart. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Of course, he was talking to Jeremiah. But he's also talking to everybody else that reads his word. Including me. God knew me before I was ever born. God formed me in my mother's room. And God made me a prophet. Because let me tell you. There's things that's coming. Because Jesus said so. Jesus said so. In. In. in uh, Let's take, for instance, um, Luke 21. Jesus said, Nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there will be great earthquakes in various places, and famines and pestilences. And there will be fearful sights and great signs from the heavens. But before all these things, they will lay their hands on you and persecute you, deliver you up to the synagogues and, and prisons. You will be brought before kings and rulers for my namesake. Basically, that's kind of almost what's happening to me right now. They're lying. They're trying to lay their hands on me. But see, they're cowards. They really don't want to lay their hands on me physically. So they're laying their words on me and saying things against me to make me look bad. So what's next? Are they going to call the police on me and say that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm threatening them? I'm going to show the police, hey, or the sheriff's department, because we, we have police, but we also have the sheriff's department's, my jurisdiction, or venue, that is. Long story short, I can show them this video. I can show them my YouTube where what you have said about me and I'm going to tell them there's a TV show where people have lost their jobs their lives have been ruined because of people like you but yet you claim to be a Christian you say you go to church but yet you're trying to sow discord among the brethren Now I can say more, but other than this, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father but by and only through Him. All you have to do is ask first, tell Jesus, first, tell Jesus that you are sorry 
for all the wrong that you have done in your life. And then ask Jesus to forgive you of your, of your wrongdoings, your sins. And then ask Jesus to come into your heart to fill you with the Holy Spirit, to cleanse you, to make you new again. So a lot of people don't don't have the Holy Spirit. They you know they don't know what it's like to have the Holy Spirit. Some people think you gotta speak in tongues to uh, ha be filled with the Holy Spirit. You don't have to speak in tongues, an unknown. Uh, some kind of spiritual tongue that only, you know, uh, God knows and the angels know. True tongues is talking in a known language on earth that you cannot really speak. I cannot, you know, speak any other language really fluently other than English. And there are some people that think I can't speak English very well either. Because of my uh, issues I have with my mouth. Long story short. Speaking in tongues is when you all of a sudden. The spirit comes over you and you start speaking in a tongue. In a, a, a language. Because that's what tongue means, a language that you do not know how to speak fluently. You speak through the Holy, the Holy Spirit comes on you and the Holy Spirit is speaking through you to somebody else. Let's say there's somebody that's, you know, Spanish or, or, or German or, or Russian or or, you know, um, some other Middle Eastern language or um, Mandarin or Japanese or Chinese, whatever the language is. And you really don't know that language. The Spirit comes over you and then speaks through your mouth to that person that's listening so they can get the word from God. That's what true speaking in tongues is. Not this miraculous, I mean, not just, you know, all of a sudden I'm in, in the spirit and I'm... No, that's not speaking in tongues. I've heard so many people say, you know, things like... Uh, things like... Uh, uh, they say almost the same thing over over and over again. Hey, oh, uh, 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 oh, I mean, come on now, you know, shaka, uh, or it will say, um, um, something like that, shaka, or, or something that, I mean, and they do say it uh, over and over and over again. That isn't the uh, tongues. That isn't true tongues. That's just trying to show off. That's just being a show off. Well, my time's almost up here again on my camera, so I better get done here and say, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father but by only through Him. God bless you. Have a blessed day.